welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to contour your face and this is also going to be a part of my back to basics for beginners so if you are a beginner and you've always been wondering what is this contouring this is the video to watch and I'm also going to be showing you how to contour different face shapes like if you have round face and long face and triangular face and all that jazz so if you're interested keep watching If you are a foundation wearer, you must have seen that once you apply your foundation, your face, which is naturally kind of curved, when you apply one color all over your face, your face kind of appears flat. And this kind of makes your face look bigger. So, when you apply a little bit of contouring powder to the edges of your face right here, it gives you a three-dimensional face once again and you appear slimmer. Moreover, contouring is also used to kind of chisel your face slim down your face and give more structure to your face. Now, if you look at a model's face and you're like, oh my God, look at her cheekbones. You can kind of cheat your way into all of that just by contouring. So that's why you need to contour your face. Let's talk about the products that you can use to contour. There are so many contouring and highlighting products available. Just to show you an example, this is a Too Faced palette. This right here is a bronzer, which is meant especially for contouring your face. But if you look at my face with respect to this one, there is not much of a difference in color. And say I'm going to apply this on my face. It doesn't really show. Your contouring powder has to be at least two or three shades darker than your skin tone. Now let's just look at the brown colors over here. This brown right here is quite dark. Even an eyeshadow which is darker than my skin, I can use it for contouring. So with a light hand, I can definitely use this eyeshadow for contouring. Some of the other products you can use for contouring is a foundation. Maybe that you bought by mistake which is slightly just too dark for you. So this I can use for contouring. It's just a concealer. And you can also use face powders. You can just go to L'Oreal or Revlon or MAC and get a face powder which is like a couple of shades darker than you. And this one is just a blusher which is in a brown skin tone and it is quite a lot darker than me. So you can basically use anything that's, you know, in your skin tone range but darker than you to contour your face. If you want to contour your cheekbone, what you do is start from the uh, top of your ear, not top of your ear, where your ear starts, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying, this point, come all the way down, okay, basically what you do is you just feel your cheekbone, you can just push it in, you can kind of feel where there is a natural dip, okay, where your bone just finishes and your jaw bone just starts biology lesson for you there. Too probably to the middle of your face, don't go all the way down, that's just gonna be too extreme. You can also contour your jaw just to give it a little bit of more sharp, defined jaw. You can also sharpen your nose, you can make it look thinner, you can shape your nose if you don't like your nose, it's a little bit round. Just go on the side of your nose and you can just use a finger or whatever you want, a brush even or a sponge, maybe whatever, whatever. So just blend it out but of course you need to blend it out, otherwise it's just gonna look funny. You don't want that kind of look. Now using a powder contour product, let me show you how you can contour your face if you have different face shapes. Say you have a little round face. So what you do is do exactly the same thing, but in addition to that, bring it a little bit underneath as well, kind of get in your jaw and then up to your temple as well. Go all over this area in a huge triangular shape, just like that, and then blend it out. Okay? That will give you a more slimmer face if you have a round face. If you have, say, a triangular face where your jaw is a lot heavier and a lot bigger than the top, your forehead, you know, like a triangle, what you do is pretty much the same, but you come right across your jaw like this and just contour your jaw, just like that. Take away that excess that you don't like, you know, like as if, if you were working on Photoshop, you know, you how you cut and crop and you just delete it. Basically, you're doing that. So you don't want your jaw to be that prominent. Just apply your bronzer to your jaw, just like that. Now, I'm going to look really weird because I'm doing different things on both sides of my face, but I'm doing it for you, okay? If you have a really long face and you would like it to be a little bit more round and plump, what you do is take your powder, apply it just to the tip of your chin, blend it down into your jawline, and then take a little bit more. You can do this even if you have like a really large forehead. Apply just to your hairline like that, across your hairline, all the way across, just like that, and 
of course blending is key now you can do this with any sort of contour product cream or powder or foundation whatever you're comfortable with and this is gonna make your face look less long and more round if you have a heart shape just apply your contour right on top of the cheekbone just like that and then blend it just down like that that will kind of give you more balance to your shape and now I'm really contour let me just blend it all out because I feel like I'm looking crazy let me take it down my jaw you can hide your double chin if you want like this you can apply just a little bit just like that on the side of your nose you know make it look pointy you can apply a contour product to the crease of your eye just to make your eyes look more deep I'm doing it without a mirror I have no idea where I've got my paint on so if I look funny don't judge that's all there is to it on how to contour your face now since we spoke about contouring i'm also going to show you how to highlight your face like a bonus in this video you know what i mean mm -mm. highlighting the face is just the opposite of contouring your face contouring is to kind of recede your face and get that sunken in you know all of the deleting work that you want to do kind of looks like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Highlighting is just the opposite. It's to bring more attention to your face. You can use anything that is on your skin color family, but a couple of shades lighter than your skin tone. I'm going to use this as my highlight. I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm just using my finger for this. You can use a brush. You can use whatever you want. And I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. Take it in a nice triangle shape. And I'm also going to highlight my forehead to bring more glow to the center of my face. Well my phone is in a very disturbing mood i'm also gonna apply a little bit to the tip of my chin if you want to conceal your under eye circle you know get two birds in one shot you can do that well, well. Oh, blend it all out you can even contour underneath your lip just here like that to make your lips look more powdery so i've taken my time and blended it out i really don't want to do it but i did it okay so this is what it would look like after you're done with your contouring and your highlighting but don't go too crazy with it because it's just gonna look too crazy you can even use like you know these highlighters that you get in the market really fine glitter you can get a tiny little brush like that and apply just a tad bit of it just to the highest point of your cheek just like that to give you more of a sheen a glow i wouldn't recommend this for people who have oily skin since we've done all of this anyway let me show you how to apply the blush because that is usually the last step to your cheek face routine so take your blush take a little bit on your brush and then apply right in between your contour and your highlight in between so just sandwich it in there and blend it out towards your hairline again this is a personal choice you can apply it to the apples of your cheek i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something from this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already well subscribe to my channel i shall see you on my instagram